Hey everybody, my name is EQ Trades. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going over accumulations and distributions, what the differences are, and how you can spot them and trade them. Shout out to Luis in our Discord group. If you want to join the Epic Trading Floor, I'll drop the link in the description of this video. Now you might be sitting there asking yourself, what is a distribution and what is an accumulation? Well, at the end of the day, they're both consolidation patterns. And at the end, at the end of the day, they're both consolidation patterns. And what a consolidation pattern means is that price is moving sideways. And in those, and in those sideways movements, you have range high and range low. And price will continue to bounce in between the range high and range low until it is confirmed otherwise that the consolidation is broken. And then price will move in the opposite direction of the trend. Now accumulations are typically found at market lows. And what that means is when other people were being fearful and they didn't know if the market would continue to slip, this is when other people were actually buying into the market. This would be considered an accumulation or a money flow into the market. And as you can see through these accumulation phases, we get nice little plays, nice impulse moves. I can even slide this out a little bit. Here's another accumulation phase down here into the 2020 and 2021 bull run that we saw previously where we tested all the, uh, the previous all-time highs of 68,000. Now, what's important to note in accumulation zones is volume. So if you notice the VRVP, or the Visible Range Volume Profile, this has this gold line that's called the POC, or the point of control, and that's going to tell us where the most amount of volume is at any given point on the chart. And we can see if we're looking at this entire movement, including this last impulse move that we saw, there was still more volume in this zone from, let's say, June of 2022, all the way to about March of 2023, more people were buying and flowing in money and selling. In terms of overall volume, you can see how much volume is down here in comparison to what we've seen previously. Or you can see how much volume is down here in comparison to how much volume we can see up here where price is currently at. So all the big players were already in well before everyone else started getting into the hype train. This is also confirmed by the volume flow indicator or the VFI, and you can see that this is in a consistent uptrend while price is moving sideways, which is the first sign of an accumulation. Now, on the other hand, we have distributions or money flow out of the market. And this is typically at price highs or when we get to all time highs and range highs, you'll typically see price move sideways for typically a couple months, maybe a few months. And this is specific just to the crypto market. Every market has relative times that it would be sitting in a consolidation phase. And that also comes down to how long the chart has been active and how volatile that actual chart is. But at the end of the day, these peaks is typically where you see a lot of people like your grandmother and everyone else asking about crypto and Bitcoin and wanting to get in. You see the Caitlyn Jenners of the world trying to shill people and sell bags. This is typically when that's going to be happening is in the distribution phase. This is when the mass hysteria comes in. And this is when all the big fish are getting out and trying to bait retail buyers into thinking that this will continue to go up to 100,000 immediately when it could theoretically and it will in long term if you believe in it. And I think Bitcoin will easily hit 100,000, but I don't think that it was going to hit anytime soon. And I still think that there's a little bit of room for a retracement before it could continue up to even test that $100,000 range. But that'll be for another video. And when you actually look into these distribution ranges, typically similar to what we were talking about before with the accumulation, you can see that volume is pulling down. So when you see this volume pull down, you see a consistent downtrend in volume while price is moving sideways. That would be a sign of a consolidation, but a distribution specifically because money is now flowing out. And typically when I'm looking at these long-term distributions and accumulations, I'm going to be looking at the daily or the weekly time frame just so I can get a good idea of what's going to be happening with price action. That's going to be tip number one. Tip number two, what's really good about these accumulation zones is a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times, price will typically like to retest the outer ranges of these accumulation or distribution zones before it really starts to move into a strong direction. So you can see price did break out of the accumulation. We retested this as a support or an SR flip zone. This was a resistance before. Now we have it as a support and it takes off. And if you look back historically, this was previously a resistance back in 2021 as well, where this pulled down a little bit and I can even slide this down. We had the exact same accumulation range that was going on here that continued price action up to the what would create the all time highs at that time. And that exact zone came back historically and became another accumulation zone for another attack to create new all-time highs. So that's a really good part about knowing these accumulation and distribution zones. You can see that also played out here. We had a nice little bear run 
had two taps of support on the top side is an SR flip, resistance, resistance, support, support, breakout move, continuation pattern here, went to a continued breakout with a little minor consolidation going on here. And that's where, and that's one of the easiest ways and strategies to trade these accumulation distribution zones. It's just waiting for price to come back and test that SR flip, support, resistance, flip, and then see if you get a really good entry from there. But you can always go to the weekly chart, for example, if you want to, and you'll be able to still see these phases and these zones. You'd probably get a clearer read on the daily versus the weekly, unless you're looking at, for example, in the Forex market, where some of those charts have been around since the 90s or 80s. Those you might or would more than likely want to use the weekly so you can get a better reference point long term. But when you're looking at a Bitcoin, for example, which has only had in relevant terms, three or four bull cycles and hasn't been around 60 years yet, you can zoom in or you know focus on the daily when you're looking at these distribution and accumulation zones. And Luis, hopefully that answers your question. And thank you for asking that question so that we could help everyone else that has the question as well. And if you found anything useful in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all. If you want to come trade with me, come join the Epic Trading Floor.